Welcome back, our dear viewers. I'm continuing our special coverage for the fifth mid-year coordination meeting of the African Union and Regional Economic Blocks, which is taking place in Nairobi, Kenya. And to shed more light on this summit, we are very much delighted to be joined over the phone by Ambassador Mohammed Al Ashmawi, member of the Egyptian Council for Foreign Affairs. Good afternoon to you, Mr. Ambassador. Good afternoon and thank you very much for your calling. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, being uh, with us, uh, sir. Uh, the importance of Egypt's participation in uh, the uh, fifth round of uh, this uh, summit. Uh, really, Egypt is playing a very important role in Africa. Uh, Egypt is an African country and uh, we have very good relations with the African, all the African countries. And uh, for the for the uh, because it's very important for for Egypt also mm -hmm. from the uh, national security uh, point of view, uh, and at the same time we are doing our best to do something for the uh, uh, the all the overall I mean uh, African continent mm -hmm. uh, because Egypt is a, a member as I told you is a very important member in the African uh, policy. Yes. And we are, we are doing our best because, you know, because Africa now is a place where all the countries, especially the big countries, the United States, China and Russia yes. are, are trying, they are, they are making very important role in Africa now. That's why we are, we are, we, we are mm -hmm. an African country, we would like to make Africa to, to, to have relations with both, within Africa itself. Mm -hmm. Because we are trying our best to, uh, I mean, uh, to, uh, to, to do something for mm -hmm. the African continent as a continent. As you know, w what they are saying as, uh, uh, as uh, the cooperation, I mean, South South cooperation. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, yes. Yes, yes uh, please go on, outside. Mr. Ambassador. Yes. Uh, sir, also the president today delivered the speech on uh, Egypt's uh, vision and plan uh, during its presidency of the NEPAD. Can you shed more light about the importance of the speech and the importance of Egypt having the NEPAD for the coming two years? Uh, really, the NEPAD is playing a very important role. And at the same time, uh, our president uh, mm -hmm. is, uh, is uh, I mean, um, and of, of course, as the president of the Arab Republic of Egypt, yeah. he is uh, trying to do something for Africa through the NEPAD yes. and through it and through also the uh, the African uh, the African I mean uh, 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 economic uh, uh, economic I mean groups of uh, uh, East Africa South mm. Africa West Africa and at the same time try to make a I mean a, a full uh, a, a full I mean uh, I mean, I mean uh, important uh, uh, place for uh, for, for free trade mm. in Africa. Mm. So we are trying our best to do something for that. Yes. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, the President highlighted the importance also of uh, integrating the uh, economy, uh, the continental integration between the different African states. How do you see the measures that should be taken in order to uh, realize that on the ground? Really, we, of course, it, it's not an, a, 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 a small thing, and um, it needs a, too much uh, work. That's why Egypt is, is trying mm. its best as an African uh, big country to do something mm. for the, the whole continent uh, through the cooperation and through, uh, I mean, uh, you know, giving Africa to the, to the world as a, as a group. As mm. a group and a free, a free trade group. Yes. yes. Sir, also in his uh, speech, the president reviewed Egypt's plans. As the current chair of the steering committee of uh, NEPAD, uh, he talked also about the importance of reaching integration to face the repercussions of the climate change as Egypt uh, uh, is the head of the COP27. Uh, how do you see here the efforts that must be exerted on the ground in order to uh, try to face the repercussions of the uh, climate change? Uh, uh, the, our president is there also as, uh, as the president of the uh, I mean, COP 
uh, oh. 27. The meeting uh, was which was was in 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 Egypt, and uh, Africa is the most. I mean, it, 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 very much affected by the problem of uh, oh. of uh, of uh, of uh, you know uh, the, the problem after the cup. 27 Egypt I mean the, the whole country is is affecting is affected too much yes. it's the most affected place in the world by by the problem of uh, I mean uh, uh, the problem of uh, the cup 27 yes. so uh, it, 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 his excellency the uh, the president of the arab republic of egypt mm -hmm. is doing his best to uh, to bring um, I mean uh, some sort of uh, I mean uh, uh, mm do something for the African countries which are, are very much affected by the problem. Yes. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, also the President talked about the importance of the concrete role that should be played by the international community and the international financing institutions in order to increase the funding for Africa to face the repercussions of the climate change as we are one of the uh, continents the, of uh, the most uh, harmful impact, yet we uh, have very um, uh, small contribution in the uh, green gas emissions. We are, so we are trying our best through, mm. the, so, uh, through the meeting in the, in the African continent yes. and in all over the world and in the United Nations also to Indeed. do something to, to, to say how these people were affected by the climate problem. Mm. And uh, they are the most, the most affected place in the world is Africa. Indeed. And, uh, you know, uh, I mean, of course, the, uh, the, the, the other countries of, uh, I mean, uh, mm. of Europe and the United States and the Russia and all these things, they, they are, they are, the, they, are they, 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 they are, they make this problem. Yes. They are the, 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 the uh, people who made the problem of, to the world, mm. uh, and Africa was the most affected place. That's why we are trying our best mm. to, I mean, to, to, to have something to put to, 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 uh, to, 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 sell, to, to do something for the African countries to stop this problem. Mm. Because we are mostly, the mostly affected place is Africa. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, uh, the President also highlighted that, that one of Egypt's vision uh, for uh, uh, the presidency of the NEPAD is to reach the sustainable developments and uh, to reach that we have uh, to uh, work hard and to have more cooperation among the different African states uh, how that could be reached and what are mainly the challenges that the African continent is still facing that we should be um, dealing with in order to reach uh, our requirements for the plan 2024-2034? We are doing, uh, as I told, uh, we are doing, uh, as, I, as I told you, uh, we are mm. doing our best to, 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 to the African countries to be, I um, mean, uh, to, 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 to face this problem. Yeah. And to tell the world that Africa is the most the affected place in the world mm. by this problem of the climate, and we are doing our best to to have much more. I mean, uh, uh, things from mm. the outside countries, especially from the European countries, from the United States, from the mm. Russia, and the all the uh, Japan, to do something for the African countries which are mostly affected by the problem of uh, climate. Yes. Uh, uh, we are doing our best also all over and all over the world through the United Nations, through the, all the international meetings to, to say that Africa is the mostly affected place and we have to do something to, to help the African mm. countries to face this problem. Yes. One of the issues tackled also uh, today, Mr. Abazar, was the, uh, the Blue Economy session as a part of the EU coordination meeting, uh, which is uh, taking place in Nairobi. Uh, how do you see the importance here of uh, this uh, element of the blue economy? We really we are, doing from, uh, we are doing our best to do something for Africa yes. through all the means to help through the blue economy, as you, as you, as you told me now, yes. and uh, through all the, uh, I mean, uh, the ways how to help the African countries uh, oh. to face such a problem.
Yes. And, also, and through, and it's really important now, very important through the cooperation, South South cooperation. Because all the countries are doing, trying to do something from outside Africa. But yes. we have to do something ourselves. Mm. That's why, as, as I, I, I say, uh, it is the uh, uh, economic, economic uh, I mean, the cooperation, South South cooperation, African yes. African cooperation. Yes. One of the issues also tackled is the uh, African Free Trade Agreement and to what extent we did succeed in uh, reaching uh, that, uh, Mr. Ambassador. What's your take on uh, the effort that we should be uh, doing in order to uh, reach more success in the free trade agreement uh, topic? Yes. As you know well, uh, Egypt was the president of uh, was president of the African uh, yes. I mean, uh, I mean uh, group mm. uh, for uh, for one year, and we tried our best also through this uh, presidential uh, presidential uh, I mm. mean uh, position to help the African countries uh, and to 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 make something for African countries to uh, to, to 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 face such a problem. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sir, also on the sidelines of uh, his participation at the, the EU mid-year coordination meeting in Nairobi, President Sisi met with his Kenyan counterpart, William Rato. How do you see here, uh, Mr. Ambassador, the uh, Egyptian-Kenyan uh, ties and uh, cooperation? Yes, of course, we are uh, doing our best to, to, to make uh, good relations with the all African countries. Nairobi and, and Kenya is a very important uh, country. Yeah. And we are doing our best to, to I mean, uh, to uh, do something through our cooperation to help uh, the African uh, continent and to help. That's why uh, the, 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 the meeting also for Sudan was very yes. important in Cairo and mm. the, uh, the people neighboring Sudan also. Mm. So uh, Kenya is playing a very important role and we are doing our best through our relations with Kenya to help. Uh, 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 the relations between the two countries and to do something for uh, the whole continent of Africa. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, as you have kindly mentioned, that the meeting uh, between President Sisi and his Kenyan counterpart, uh, Mr. William Rato, came after Egypt hosting the summit uh, for the neighbors of Sudan. How do you see the efforts exerted by Egypt in order to uh, try to settle uh, the Sudanese uh, crisis as well? It was a very, very important role, as you know very well. The uh, problem of Sudan is very much, very much connected with the Egyptian, I mean, uh, national interest. And we are doing our best to put an end to the problems uh, meeting Sudan uh, uh, these uh, days. Yes. And we are doing our best uh, through the meeting. Uh, that's why His Excellency the President asked for the meeting of the neighboring countries of uh, Sudan. We yes. are doing our best also because the, 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 the meeting in Cairo of the uh, African uh, neighbors of Sudan, yeah. to, uh, they are asking the foreign ministers to meet in Chad and they will study what, yeah. how the matters are going well and at the same time they will, pay, they will put a report for the NICO summit uh, meeting of the neighboring countries of Sudan. Yes, indeed. The Ambassador Mohammed Al Ashmawi, member of the Egyptian Council uh, for uh, Foreign Affairs. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for uh, your precious uh, input. And our uh, dear uh, viewers, uh, earlier uh, today, uh, President Abdel Fattah al Sisi participated uh, at uh, the fifth mid year coordination meeting of the African Union and the regional economic blocs in. Nairobi, Kenya on Sunday, delivering a speech at a closed-door session on the African Development Agency, NEPAD, role in boosting continental integration. President Sisi said that he was glad to participate at the fifth version of the coordination meeting, noting that its first version was held in 2019 in Niger under the Egyptian presidency of the African Union. The head of the state stressed that Egypt strongly backs pushing regional integration in order to accelerate development rates in the African states and to enhance their stability. The president reviewed Egypt's plans as the current chair of the steering committee of NEPAD. Our dear viewers, that was our special coverage for Egypt's participation at the fifth AU mid-year coordination meeting in Nairobi.